Have you ever wondered, how many beautiful towns are there in the world? Small towns in Europe are ignored by far too many tourists. When it comes to European trips, large, culturally significant cities like Rome, and Paris typically receive all the focus. But behind all the tourist attractions, Europe is home to countless little locations, with populations much smaller than the line for the Eiffel Tower. And in spite of their small size, they still provide the same outstanding architecture, and breathtaking scenery as their urban counterparts. In this video we show you 17 of the most beautiful, and picturesque small and tiny towns in Europe. If you want to see the most beautiful and attractive places around the world, be sure to subscribe down below. Number 17, P. Rune, Slovenia. Even though, Slovenia's coastline is only 47 kilometers long, it is dotted with charming towns. P. Rune is the most picturesque of them all. P. Rune is a historic harbor town, located on a small peninsula, that is surrounded on three sides by the Gulf of Trieste. It is the jewel in the crown of the Slovene Riviera, and one of the most stunning locations in the entire nation. The town was shaped by half a millennium of Venetian sovereignty, as you can obviously see from the architecture, and a strong bond with Italy was created that still exists today. Italian is one of three official languages of Pirun, along with two other Slovenian localities. Travel time to get to Venice is only 2.5 hours. Number 16, Kur, Switzerland. Kur, which is the oldest city in Switzerland, has been inhabited for more than 5,000 years. There are no cars in the charming, 800-year-old cathedral-filled old town. It's a wonderful area to go around on foot, and soak in the magical surroundings, because of its winding lanes, and welcoming atmosphere. Kur is a bustling alpine city, with a wide variety of culinary, and cultural offerings. It is located at the beginning of the Rhine Valley, and is surrounded by stunning wildness, and attractive mountains. St. Mortis, Davos, Linzerheide, and Arosa are close by ski destinations, for those interested in a ski vacation. Number 15, Pitigliano, Italy. On its rocky ledge in the southernmost part of Tuscany, Pitigliano cuts a strange figure. It is unquestionably one of Tuscany's most fascinating walled villages, located midway between Florence and Rome, in the lush Maremma region. It stands on a plateau encircled by gorges, its natural defenses rounded out by a massive fortress. Its homes appear to emerge right from the yellowish-red volcanic tuff, that has been mined since Etruscan times, and utilized for shelter ever since. Apart from the small but well-organized archaeological museum in Palazzo Orsini, there isn't much trace of the Etruscan beginnings of the town today. However, the neighborhood has a lot to offer tourists. Number 14, Ronda, Spain. Would you like to spend a day exploring one of Spain's oldest cities? Then you must learn about Ronda, a city in southern Spain that is around 100 kilometers from Malaga. Don't miss a visit to one of Andalusia's most well-known locations, which will charm you with its winding lanes, recognizable bridge, homes perched on the edge of a canyon, and more. Get one of the most prevalent postcards from Andalusia.
Number 13, Civitati Banarigio, Italy. The fairy tale village of Civitati Banarigio, which is a part of the historic Tusha area, is a must see for anyone who is interested in history or stunning scenery. This settlement, whose name translates to Town of the Royal Bath, is built above a tough cliff, a type of rock created by the accumulation of volcanic ash. This town is a great day excursion from Rome, if you're staying there, so lucky you. It is just 120 kilometers, 75 miles, north of Rome, is accessible by car, and regularly scheduled guided tours travel this distance. Once there, all that's needed is that you cross the famous footbridge of Civita di Banarigio. Number 12, Zakow Pana, Poland. The majority of Polish travel plans begin in Warsaw and end in Krakow. But if you travel two hours further south, you'll arrive in Zakow Pana, a city that borders the Tatra National Park, one of the most stunning places in all of Europe. It will take a bus to go to the trail from Lake Morski Oko, often known as the Eye of the Sea, which is the largest lake in the Tatras, at 862 meters long. A two-hour walk through the area's remarkable permaculture is required to get there. The result? One of the world's most stunning lakes. Number 11, Carcassonne, France. The Carcassonne is a medieval fortress city, with a more than 2,500 year old history. Viollet le Duc recreated the picturesque fortifications, nearly 3 kilometers of walls with 52 towers. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, was partially filmed here, in the 19th century, but as with most monuments at the period, authenticity was not the primary concern. It is listed in the UNESCO World Heritage List. The Ville Boss, or Lower City, which is the town's center, and where the other attractions and hotels are situated. During the Albigensian Crusade in the early 1200s, Carcassonne, one of the Cathars' main cities, was battled over, the Crusaders conquered it, the Cathars took it back, and the Crusaders took it again. Number 10, Rothunbug, Germany. Welcome to Rothunbug, the place on the postcard. It is one of the most picturesque villages in Germany and a fantastic place to visit in all of Europe. This village is lovely year round, whether it is spring, summer, or fall. You desire to take part in magical moments and holidays. In December, we advise visiting Rothunbug. Its Christmas market is fantastic, genuine, endearing, and unforgettably memorable. Number 9, Positano, Italy. 
Positano is a town in southern Italy's Amalfi region. With its pebble beaches and steep, steep streets lined with stores, and cafes, it is a popular tourist destination. Positano, a mostly vertically developed town, is known for shopping above all else, there are actually a ton of boutiques, and craft stores here. Positano is also distinguished by stairways that connect the higher portion of the town to the beach, giving the impression that it is a vertical village, that spans along a rocky ridge of the Lateri Mountains, with its colorful homes. Positano is known as the Pearl of the Amalfi Coast, for its numerous terraces, stairways, and vibrant buildings as well as the feelings it may evoke in people who visit. The town is well liked by visitors from all over the world, and it is typical to run across movie stars, while they are on vacation or see the boats of successful businessmen. Number 8, Besalu, Spain. Bezalu. Besalu is a superb example of a medieval town, and a historical gem that is bursting at the seams with flavor. Besalu is known for its charming bridge, cobblestone streets, and facades. The town can be reached by car in 35 minutes from the coast, and is situated in the beautiful province of Girona, Catalonia. Depending on the stunning beach town along the Costa Brava you decide to visit, the distance may vary. The town's stone, brick, and cobble construction dates back hundreds of years, and the striking architecture entices tourists from all over the world. Number 7, Require, France. You may have guessed where we are coming from since, we are back in Alsace. This time, we advise visiting Require, a charming medieval city that was spared bombing during World War II, and has since survived. Require, which is 13 kilometers from Colmar, another magnificent location, is unquestionably a must-visit location for history, magical scenery, vineyard, and food enthusiasts. Number 6, Tassa de Mar, Spain. On the Costa Brava in the Catalan area of Spain, Tassa de Mar is a charming village with cobblestone lanes built around a spectacular historic castle. A spectacular backdrop is provided by the picturesque mountainous hinterland with its lush green valleys, gorges, and natural springs. This charming resort also offers a lively beach scene that attracts both families and couples. The Villa Vela, Old Quarter, which still has its original defensive walls and towers, is a beautiful area of this medieval town. The resort, which is 95 kilometers north of Barcelona and 100 kilometers south of the French border, is about 40 minutes drive from Girona's extremely well-served airport. Number 5, Neuschwanstein Castle, Germany. The most enchanted castle in all of Europe is without a doubt Neuschwanstein. It is one of the crown jewels of Bavarian tourism and has been open to the public since 1886. With more than a million visitors a year, it is also one of the best known castles in all of Europe. Because he hated society, King Ludwig II, sometimes known as the Shy King, used to seek refuge in the castle. Both the castle and the area deserve a visit. Discover one of Europe's most enchanted regions by booking your flights to Munich, the most affordable accommodation, and the greatest things to do in Bavaria.
Number 4, Popeye Village, Malta. Malta is a fantastic vacation spot in Europe. It was just named one of Europe's top locations for winter sun. It is a stunning location for its natural environment, which has served as an inspiration to famous filmmakers. Malia, on the island of Malta, has been recognized as one of Europe's top tourist destinations for its environmentally friendly and sustainable travel. There is a remarkable village that was created specifically for the Popeye movie production. The movie, in which Robin Williams played the lead part, was less popular than anticipated, but the village of Popeye has been conserved quite well, and is now highly well liked by tourists. Number 3, Cadiz, Spain. One of the most iconic locations on the Catalan coast of Brava is Cadiz, which is located directly on the Cap de Creus Peninsula. Along with the breathtaking scenery provided by the Cap de Creus Natural Park, its rocky shoreline is one of its main attractions. It is surrounded by lovely beaches and calm coves. Its historic district, with a strong Mediterranean vibe and beach character, is located at the head of Cadiz Bay. The Salvador Dal House Museum stands out among the various museums and art galleries in this area, which have served as a source of inspiration for many internationally renowned painters and artists throughout the years. Number 2, Kaisersberg, France. The castle ruins which are now reduced to a lovely round tower, overlook the city of Kaisersberg and its viticulture. From its summit, you can see the city, the Weiss Valley, the vineyards, the plain of Alsace, and, farther away, Germany's Black Forest. In order to create a new commune called Kaisersberg Vignoble, the neighboring communities of Kienzheim and Sigelsheim legally united with Kaisersberg on January 1, 2016. Number 1, Isola Bella, Italy. It took about 400 years and the combined efforts of countless architects, engineers, plasterers, painters, and cabinet makers to create the amazing metamorphosis of Isola Bella from a lake rock to a destination of wonders. Isola Bella was a rock populated by fishermen before 1630, along with two tiny chapels and a few modest vegetable gardens. With Giulio Caesar III and Carlo III, the Borromeos, who had previously owned Isola Madre since 1501, focused their attention on the island, and began the ambitious project, that would eventually result in the construction of the palazzo and the garden. Adventure Channel, we show you the beauty of the world. If you want to see the most beautiful and attractive places around the world, be sure to subscribe down below. Tell us in the comments, have you ever been to any of the towns mentioned in the video?